50 feet away. And we're out in the middle of Ocala National Forest and the place we were camping was literally in the middle of the park. Uh, one, one part of the forest was burned and we went and we were camping in the thick session, set, section um, and like uh, it was completely unburned, definitely some old growth, uh, live oak trees and stuff and it was just beautiful there. The um, cover was great. Anything could be back there. You would, Something could be like, 10 feet away from you, you wouldn't know. But anyway, so we're at camp and we hear a stick break and we're like, ooh, something's over there. And then like maybe like 25 feet away, another stick breaks. So I decided to put my headlamp on. I was like, I said, I'm going to see if I could see some eye shine. So I look and about as far away as that palm tree is, something um, goes out from behind a tree like this and it backs down or comes back behind the tree and then jumps literally 20 feet. And then like, I don't know how it moved this quick. It was so quick and it just, it was like a ninja moving through the forest. And it went like probably another 20, 25 feet, maybe 30 without me even hearing it. And then I, I grabbed two oranges and I, it was in the brush and I grabbed two oranges and I tossed them t towards where the um, uh, thing was. And it literally looked down at the oranges and I, um, I'm getting, I turned my headlamp on right as I threw the oranges and I could see the thing look down at the oranges and it starts swaying. Like it did this, it swayed back and it started swaying like so vigorously looking at me. And it, I walked over there and the ferns that it was swaying behind had to have been like five foot off the ground. And uh, it was really cool because I've been, um, we've been out here in um, Florida and I've, I've felt fairly comfortable in the woods so far. I haven't had any hair stick up um, on the back of my neck. And uh, yeah, this, uh, this was just really an uh, interesting experience and just the way it moved. Uh, I've never seen anything move like that. And I've seen mountain lions, I've seen grizzly bears, I've seen wolves, and I'm very familiar with the um, animals in the forest and I've never seen anything move like this. And it was, it was really, really exciting. Sounds like uh, an sounds like an encounter. Yeah. yeah, is that the first time you ever had anything like that happen? Um, I've um, it's the first time I've really seen eye shine or anything like that, and it, so you that saw close, the eye shine. Oh, a hundred percent saw the eye shine. Yeah, I saw the eye shine. It was looking at me from only like as far away as that palm tree was, and it was swaying back and forth from behind the tree, but really going like this. I've never seen anything sway like that, and I'm just looking at the eye shine going like in a loop like this, looking at me, and it went like up, down, and then it went down, up, and it just was doing this crazy swing, and then I said, Mike, come here, come here, Mike, and as soon as Mike walks over, Mike's like coming over like this, as soon as Mike comes over, it just backs down into the forest. Was the wind blowing? Barely. No. Well, actually, it rained that night. It, it rained for like 45 minutes or something before the encounter, and then it stopped, and everything was wet. I, I definitely came in to check out the um, campsite and see what was going on. And after Mike walked over and it dipped into the forest, we could hear it moving so gracefully through the forest, like around our camp. And you could just hear a stick break, and then like maybe 50 feet past it, in like two seconds, another stick break. And it was just moving through the forest. It's amazing at how an they incredible can walk into the speed. Dark. Uh, and uh, there are palm meadows, and like. It, you can't move through the forest without being unheard. I'm like, it, it and this thing's done, moving it, it so fast. It takes a lot of time. I know, it takes a lot of practice. A lot of time. It could yeah, take an I, hour to get from here to the water there. Uh huh, exactly. I woke up early this morning, um, but right when the sun was rising, to um, retrieve a game cam. And I was walking as slowly and as quietly as I could to see if I'd stuck, um, walk up on anything. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I didn't see anything this morning. But I did get the game cams. And we have to review them, so that'll be interesting to see if we got anything.